All right then, gang. So now we're in a position where we're adding new books to this list and it's re-rendering when we add a new book. Now, when we click on a book, what I like to do is make a query to our GraphQL server and query that single book and then show information about that book on the page. So let's have a look at how we can do this. First of all, we need to make a new component. So let's just get rid of these things here. I'm going to create a new component over here, new file. And I'm going to call this book details.js. All right. So the first thing I want to do is just copy this up here and paste it down here because we're going to use those in here. We don't need this really. Let's just comment this out for now. We're going to import a different query to get a single book later on. But also, I'd like to just copy this as a bit of a boilerplate for me, and then we can edit it. So let's go down here. And this is going to be called book details, like so. And we can get rid of this display books function, I think. Just keep the render one. And inside the render function, we want to return some HTML. But instead of a UL, let's return just a single div right here. And this div is going to have an ID of book hyphen details. Then we'll do a P tag. And this P tag is going to say output book details here. All right. So ultimately, when we make a query for a single book, this is where we're going to output the details of that book when we click on it in the list. Now, the next thing I want to do is make a query for this component and bind it to this component. Now, this query is going to be for a single book, isn't it? Because when we click on a book, we're going to query that single book. So in queries, let's start to flesh this out. So under here at the bottom, I'm going to make a new query and I'm going to call this get book query. So const get book query, right? Notice the difference. Get books because we're getting all of them. Get book because we're getting one. All right. So get book query is going to be equal to GQL, then the template strings. And then underneath, we're going to say query. And then ultimately, we're going to pass some variables in here because we need to pass an ID into the query to say which book we're going to get, right? So let's say the ID is going to be coming into here as a query variable. So ID like so, and that is going to be a string. Okay. So this query is going to ask for a book, a single book, and we need to pass through the ID, which is going to be equal to the query variable ID, which we just passed in. We're doing exactly the same here as we are up here. All right. We're passing through some variables, query variables into this query. And then down here, what we're doing is we're using those variables to query the actual book. So from that book, I'd like to see an ID. Oops, not idea, just ID. And then I also want to see a name. I'd like to get the genre of the book. And then also I'd like some details on the author as well. So from the author, I'd like the ID, I'd like the name of the author, I'd like the age of the author, and possibly even get me a list of the books that they've done. So we can list other books by this author as well. So the name of each book and also the ID of each book. So right now what we're doing is we're saying, OK, well, get me a single book with this ID. We're going to pass this ID in later when we bind the query to the component. And then when you get that book, get me all of these properties of the book. Get me some author details as well from that book, the ID, the name, the age, and then return me a list of all the other books that this author has created. Right. So this is useful information. When we click on a book, we're going to see the author information, the book information and other books that that author has written as well. Cool. So that is our query. Next, we need to just export this down here. So we'll say get book query. All right. And then we can import this dude. So I'll just copy that into our book details over here. So let's uncomment this and replace get books query with get book query. That's what we're importing here. Then finally, what we need to do is bind this query with this component. So much like we did with the other components, we can say export default, then graph QL. Remember, we have that imported up here and in brackets, it's going to be get book query and then we're going to bind that to this component which is book details 
Oops, not boo details, book details. Okay. Whew. So what have we done here? We've created that query over here and we're going to pass an ID into that query later on. But we've exported it and we've imported it into this book details component and we're binding that query to this component. Now, at the minute, it's not going to work well because we don't know the ID that we're passing into this. We've not passed that query variable into this query. OK, but we'll look at that later. But essentially, when we do, we're still binding this query to this component. So whenever we render that component, it's going to run this query and find that particular book. So we'll we'll have a look at that later where we pass a variable into this query and it re-renders when we click on an item. But for now, let's just nest this component inside the book list component down here. So underneath this UL, I'm just going to nest the book details component. And remember, in order to do this, we have to import that. So I'll say components right here and we'll import it. So import and then it's going to be book details from and we need to say the current directory forward slash book details. All right. So this file right here. OK, then. So we've nested that here now. So hopefully we should see the current content, which is this thing here on the screen now. So let's save it and view this in a browser. OK, so we can see that we output the book details here. Now we are getting an error and the error variable ID of type string is used in position expecting type ID. OK, so fair enough. We can just uh, use ID first of all over here. Let me uh, go to queries and change this to ID. OK, so let's save that and see if we get the same error. No, we don't get an error now, but still, when we click on something over here, we're not getting the details yet. Even though we're binding a query to get a single book here, we're not getting those details because we're not passing the ID as a query parameter to this component when we click it. So in the next tutorial, we'll look at how we can do that when we click a title of a book over here, pass that query variable into this component where we're making that query so that when we make the query, it returns the book details for that particular book right here.